Welcome to WITS, my name is Kath, and today we're going to be using a chemical reaction to make a rocket. You can get these anywhere they still develop film. The ones that seal on the inside are the best. My lanta or some other fizzy kind of tablet, a little bit of water, a tray to catch the mess, and if you'd like to decorate it to look more like a rocket as I have, you'll need just one square of colored paper, some scissors, and some glue. Just cut the square diagonally across so you have two triangles. Fold one edge over on each of your pieces of paper. Put a little bit of glue. to stick it to the side of your canister. Do the same on the other side and you're done. Pop the lid off, place it down on the tray with your fizzy tablet on top. Then we just need to add a little bit of water to our canister, about half full. And the next bit we need to do a little bit quickly. We'll turn our lid upside down onto the canister, snap the lid shut, give it a quick shake and turn it upside down. Are you ready? Now, just step back and it should take about 10 to 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Hope you have fun. The reason we're able to make our rocket is when we add our fizzy tablet to water, it creates a chemical reaction which produces gas. That gas builds up inside our canister and creates a high pressure. That high pressure will eventually pop the lid off and force our rocket into the air. If you've ever heard the phrase equal and opposite reaction, that's what's happening with our canister. As the gas is pushing downwards and pops the lid off, it forces our rocket into the air. Have fun with your rockets and make sure that you visit us on whatsthescience.com to leave us your comments and also to subscribe for updates. We'll see you next week on WITS. <laughs>